Hi, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about the idea of personal responsibility as a business owner. So one thing that kind of drives me nuts is when business owners decide, I'm going to go into business because I want to keep all the profit. However, whenever there is the tiniest bit of liability, I'm going to offload that onto people who are not sharing in the profit. What do I mean by that? Well, as a business owner, we get to make as much money as we want if we have a good idea. If you have a good idea, you can keep all the money that you make within legal limitations as long as you're not doing anything illegal. You can keep all the money you make. However, if you screw up or if anybody that works for you screws up, you're the one that's liable, not the employee, but you. So this is the handshake agreement that we enter into when we decide to start a C corporation or an S corporation or an LLC or anything like that. We can make as much as we want. We are responsible for all our successes, but we are also responsible for all of our failures. And when I say our, I mean not just mine, but everybody who works for me. Now, the issue that I find is that there are people that decide, I want to make as much money as possible when everything's go well. But if things go wrong, I'm going to offload that liability onto... Um, Ah, uh, I have this sneeze that's just waiting in my nose ever since I got these lights. It's driving me nuts. If I stare at it, it's a... <coughs> Excuse me. This is driving me crazy. I don't know if anybody else who has this type of studio of lights or anything for these videos has the same thing, but... It's screwing with my head so bad. Every time I look at them, I have to sneeze, and I have the sneeze just waiting in my nose for the entire video, and it's just, oh, it's driving me nuts. But anyway, so you have people that don't want to have, they want to have the person be a partner when something fails, but an employee when things go well. So this is just from a thread called, Do You Make Your Employees Pay For Damages They Cause? on the iFixit Pro forum. Now that was a sneeze. <laughs> anyway, so from the iFixit Pro Talk forum, this is the thread uh, called, Do You Make Your Employees Pay For The Damages They Cause? I'm not going to show you the entire thread because if you really want to see the whole thing, you should join iFixit Pro Talk and you'll get to see these types of threads. If you agree with me, you can post. If you don't agree with me, you'll have a unique opportunity to troll me and we'll all have great fun. So this says, every store of different policies. In my particular experience, I have two stores and four employed as technicians. We work with them, share, profit. We are established in Mexico. So, of course, technicians pay for their mistakes. So of course, technicians pay for their mistakes. Example, if they are replacing an iPhone 6 LCD and they earn $7, iPhone 6 screens cost $36, so we charge $99 to the customer. So, in one hour, they can replace about three. If they broke or damage the screen, they pay the cost of the screen. Now, here's the problem I have here. They pay the guy seven bucks if he fixes the iPhone screen. They charge 99 to the customer, and the screen costs 36 bucks. So, here's my reply. So the employee gets 9% of the job's profit if they win, but they take on 100% of the liability if they lose. To the employee, the liability of one repair is greater than the profit of five repairs. But to the owner, the liability of one repair is only half the profit of one repair. And, my, and I said, with my own typical attitude, do people not realize that they are being bent over and fucked in the ass? Why don't more people start their own businesses? I just don't get it. The people working at these places are getting owned six ways to Sunday, and they live with it. Angry Amatakan. Now, he replies, of course, owner's profit is high because they invest and take the risk. They invest and take the risk. Risk, my reply, as in sometimes the people you hire may break a $33 part. That is included in the risk, and that is what we as business owners sign up for. So we don't get to say, here is the fixed amount of money you make, regardless of how amazing you are or what you do. So if I make billions of dollars, you're still stuck with fucking $7 a repair. However, if you break something, you got to pay for the part. That doesn't make sense. I think that that doesn't make sense. I think that as an employee that you enter into a handshake agreement, whether they acknowledge it or not, whereby I am an employee. Regardless of how much money I earn the business, I will receive my salary. And you get to set what my salary is. You get to keep all that money. I could be, again, I could be making 10 bucks an hour while you're off in Cancun, doing whatever the hell you want to do, flying back and forth once a week. However, you also have the liability. You have all the potential to earn profit, but you have all the risk. So if I screw something up, 
you can fire me, you can discipline me, you can let me go, you can yell at me, you can say whatever, this, that, or the other, but you take on the financial accountability and responsibility for the results of my actions if I screw up. That's the relationship that you enter into. And the thing that I find with a lot of younger workers or people who are new to the workforce, fuck, I gotta sneeze again. The thing that I find with, oh, God damn. <laughs> The thing that I find with people who are new to the workforce is they get sucked into this trap when the boss says, it's your job to do this, right? And they go, right. It's your job to do it properly, right? Right. Did you do it properly? No. And what happened? I broke something. Kitty broke something. So you got to pay for it, right? And they go, okay, fine. Here's what, they, here's what the employee doesn't understand. That job that you're getting paid $7 a job for, you would be getting paid, let me just do my, uh, my math there, since I gotta, I gotta scroll up to do my math. That job that you're getting paid $7 a piece for, you would be making $63 a piece for on the open market. So how is it fair that when you're getting paid 9% of the overall profit, that you take on 100% of the liability? See, when you explain it to somebody that way, then their eyes open and they realize that they're getting screwed. And I personally feel that if you, have, if you are paying somebody an employee's rate, an employee's salary, you're paying them like an employee, you have to treat them like an employee. Employees do not take accountability or responsibility for, or liability for the things that go wrong. If you're a programmer at a company and you get paid $30 an hour, that owner of that company has the right to make $100 million selling licenses to the software that you programmed. He has the right to fire you tomorrow after he's done. However, if that company then gets sued because there's, there's an error in the code and it's not compliant with something or it, did, it was insecure, they get sued for $20 million. They don't get to come after the guy who coded the software who worked for the company who only made 30 bucks an hour. They go after the business that made $100 million selling it. It doesn't make sense. And as you try to scale this out more and more to bigger businesses and bigger deals, it makes less and less sense to charge the employee for the mistakes that they make. What do you think, Mr. Clinton? Do you think it's fair, boy? You think it's BS, right, Mr. Clinton? I'm gonna make you pay for everything you break, boy. He doesn't agree with that one bit. So the, and, and the thing is, I deal with this with my own employees as well. So I've had employees that break things. And I talked about how I, don't, I try to not attribute things to luck, but I will say that I feel like one of the luckiest employers in the world for the people that I have as my employees. I will probably, and I, I'll admit this on camera, I'm probably never going to find employees as dedicated or as good as the core team and the core staff that I've had for years that I have right now. I will not find people that good ever again for the rest of my life. I could move into different industries. I could move on to do different things. I'm probably, I'm, I'm most likely never going to find people as dedicated or as caring as the people I have right now. I'm very appreciative that I have people like that working with me. However, they, they do screw things up. They're employees. Sometimes because they are employees, they're just going to screw something up. They're going to do something wrong. They're going to break apart. They're going to put something in an oven at 450 degrees instead of 250 degrees to get rid of the water and it's gonna melt and everything's gonna come off of it or they're gonna destroy a machine or they're gonna stab something that they shouldn't have stabbed. Something is gonna go wrong and it's going to cost me a lot of money. And because they are caring people, because they care about their job, because they care about doing a good job and they wanna do good for the company, because they care, they will feel bad and they'll wanna pay me, they'll offer me money, they'll say, I'm gonna pay for this, take it out of my salary. And I have to take them aside and really say, I'm not going to do that. Why not? Because you don't, you, what do you get paid? And I'll tell them what they get paid. And I go, if we got 30 tickets that day, do you make any more money than if we had one ticket that day? And I go, no. And I go, then how is it fair that I am going to take money out of your pay for, for a mess up that you created? You don't, it's my job to do that. It's my job to take that, to take on that risk because I'm taking on all of the capability to make profit. It, just, it doesn't make any fundamental sense for me to take that money from my own employees when they screw something up. It's a part of the cost of doing business. It's implemented in the cost of the services and it's implemented into the salaries that everybody is paid there. The whole idea is that you should, you need to create your business to a point where your employees will occasionally screw things up and you don't go out of business. 
If you're going to go out of business, if you don't make employees pay for things, either you're paying your employees too much, you're not charging your customers enough, you're hiring people that don't know what the hell they're doing, or you're just not running a proper business, you're not managing it right, which is why people are breaking things all the time anyway. Cat, I will, stop that. Kitty, kitty. I was gonna take this and go boing. And the same is, it's not just for repair shops or software companies, the same is true for any business. You don't, you don't hold the employee accountable for these things financially. You can write them up, you can fire them if they repeatedly screw things up, but you don't make them pay if they, if, if they fuck up a, a $20 part. You don't say, here, I'm taking that 20 bucks out of your paycheck. It's not right. You took on the risk. You took on the risk so that you could get the profit. You don't get to make the profit. You don't get to keep all everything when everything goes well if you're not willing to take on the risk. And just like this guy said over here, just like he said over here, if my computer ever stops freezing, how do I even live capture video on this fucking potato and I can't switch between a web browser tab? Same as this person said, of course the owner's profit is high because they invest and take the risk. Yep, of course their profit is high because they take the risk. That means that you take all of the risk. So if you work at some place, if you work at some place where they're making you pay for every little thing you screw up, but they're not giving you a bonus every time everything that you did resulted in them making more money, think about it. I'm not saying you should quit today. I'm not saying that you curse out your boss tomorrow. All I'm saying is think about creating a path to yourself where you move on to doing something better or working for people who appreciate you more. Maybe starting your own business or adding value to the services you offer, adding value to your knowledge base and getting experience elsewhere so that you can move on. Because if you're working for people who are going to make you pay every time you screw something up, but who are not saying, oh, yeah, uh, I signed a great contract this month. Here's an extra $5,000. Doesn't make sense. If you're a partner, if you're a 50-50 partner, yeah, then you're paying for everything you screwed up. If you're an employee, if you're making 9% uh, off of the total, you shouldn't be taking liability for a damn thing. Just keep that in mind and think about when it's time to move on. Business owners don't get to shift their liability onto their employees.